Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so you see Boss Baby right now. There are three to choose from. I'm gonna kinda talk my way through it. I just uploaded it. It's a special request and a very overdue special request. So I'm sorry, it's been crazy over here. Um, but let's talk about off the mat and what we can do. I'm looking at these three files and they look very similar to me. Um, I one does not pop out more than the other to me. Um, so I'm going to assume that they want 30 inches. So the big part is going to be his head, right? Cause his head, the face, um, the face looks like it's the biggest piece. So if we do the face at 10 inches, another 10, It'll be close to 30 inches. Where we're gonna struggle is right here with the ear. I'm almost tempted to slice off the ear so that it's just a more round, but we'll see. Um, do I like one image more than the other? Let me see. Uh, I kind of like this one. Um, I don't really know why I like this one. I, I don't like this one as much because he's the calculator and then he's sitting down. I don't know that this one's not my favorite. And the and because he's sitting, there's very little um, height to his legs, right? So if this is going to be, I say 10 inches, I mean 11 and a half inches, whatever. I mean, the, the max we can cut is 11 and a half inches, right? So I'm just rounding down to the nearest big, you know, 10 inches. So if this is 10 inches, this is 10 inches. The legs aren't giving me very much height, right? As opposed to over here, there's the suit, like the suit top, and then the bottom, the legs. So that the legs gives me an opportunity to have a little bit more height. So I'm going to delete this one off the bat because of that. So at least I have reasoning for it. <laughs> These two to me, they are uh, practically identical. Um, uh, I don't know, are they? I mean, they're practically identical. Um, let me see, that's so interesting. I think we can get more from this one. Okay, so this is 5.8 inches. This is 5.8 inches, but look how big his face is compared to this one. So that makes me think that I can make this face much bigger. Well, we can do that. Let's let's keep both of these for now, but to me, this face looks smaller for some reason. Uh, let's try him at 30 inches. <laughs> No, we'll know for sure when we do that. How about that? All right, so I'm gonna change this one to 30, that one to 30, and then I'm gonna reduce the screen size so that we can see why, okay, let me tap the one. Okay, and then I just reduce this down to 25% because then I can see both images. All right, so let's see. So here are my two images. Let's ungroup it and see what we have. So on this one, this is this guy right here. So let's go to contour because I'm looking at the face, right? This is the one that I selected. And let me move my face over for a second. That way you can see everything. Okay, um, but you can see it says it's 13.7 by 19.1, but that's because it includes the hands right here. So it looks like it's a lot longer. Um, 13 inches is gonna be an issue. So if we sliced off the ear and make it a separate piece, we might be able to have a little bit more room. I mean, this is 30 inches, so let's see. Um, let's go to contour and we're gonna contour out the hands so that we can see exactly how big our face is. So let's hide all just so that we can see the face and then exit out of it. So the face is 13.7 by 13.3. So this is actually, even if we slice this off, the length is still going to be difficult. So let's, um, and then let's look at this guy over here. Let's go to contour and just see, just in case, we're gonna hide all, that leaves us the face. 
13 by 12.6. So, this one, yeah, this one we, we could probably reduce this to, say it was, so this one actually works better. Let's do 29 inches and see where we get. So 20, at 29 inches, let's look at this face again. It's 12.5 by 12.2. It's still too much. So let's do 29. Let's go down to 28 inches and see. So at 28 inches, we're at 11.8 and 12.1. We would need to slice this off. Uh, okay, so either at 28 inches, we're gonna need to slice off the ear. Let's go down to 26 inches and see what we have at 26. At 26, it fits perfectly. Wait, what was it again? 11.2 by 10.9, yeah. So that's at 26. And at 27, not that one inch really makes that much of a difference. Um, I wonder if I can rotate this at all. So at 27 inches, he works. We just need to rotate the image a little bit. It's 11.6 by 11.2, which means what happens is this. So I'm going to get rid of this one because we're not going to deal with this one. Okay. What that means is design space says, as long as one length is under 11 and a half inches, which we have 11.2, right? Then the other length can actually be up to 23 and a half inches. So it could, because it thinks you're gonna use a 12 by 24 mat and you're gonna use longer paper. But in fact, because they do that, we can trick the system and still use 12 by 12 cardstock and it will just cut past the 11.5 inch that it normally has the restrictions on. But because it thinks we're using a longer mat, it's gonna go past the 11 and a half inches that it will cut, and it will still cut because our paper is 12 inches. It, it, this will fit. So let's do that. All right, so we're golden right now. This is 27 inches. Let me save this as Boss Baby. 27 inches, save. All right, so now that we have it saved, what we do need to do is bring everything back from the face, right? So let's start moving things out of the way and let's just see what we have. So this hair is 11 inches by nine. I mean, how cute is that? It's perfect. The face we need to work on because we need to bring everything back, but let's look at all these other things. Okay, so here's the white pieces. The whites are the eyes, the little, I think the tie, and then part of the shirt. Everything's kind of small. Um, it's, it, it's all one piece though. So we don't want all this wasted space. So what you can do is we can slice things out so that when we go to the cutting mat, we can move the eyes closer together um, so you don't waste as much um, paper. Or not really, I mean, I shouldn't say you're wasting it, but what happens is when we scrunch it all together in one area, then what's left over is more usable scrap paper. So I prefer to do that. So I'm gonna just do this. We're not gonna separate everything. So when we're separating, we slice or we contour. In this case, we're gonna slice. I'm gonna keep this as one piece, two, and three. So I'm slicing this two times. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So it's gonna be my square and my white pieces. Um, whatever I want sliced out of that image has to be completely covered by the square. So in this case, only that portion is um, inside my square. I'm gonna take my cursor and grab these two items and then slice. Okay, and then we can remove the slice results. We don't need that. And then now you can see this little guy is by himself, right? I can use the same um, square and do this eye. 
this little circle is tiny. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. If I'm not actually gonna make this, I'm only showing the tutorial on how to do it in Design Space. I'm, yeah, that is so teeny tiny. I don't know if it's gonna make it. Um, it, it this whole image, this eye is kind of really thin right here. I don't know if that's gonna survive the cut. This up here looks super thin as well. So, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, you just need to look at the image to see, you know, I, I know she wanted this particular image, but I think with the eyes, that's really, really difficult. Um, my only suggestion, and just imagine, this is big, right? So, I mean, let me bring this back to 100% so we can see, so you can kind of get a feel for how big it is. So, I mean, I guess it's like, this little guy is, I mean, I guess he's a quarter of an inch. It just feels really small. Let me see, let me look at this. Um, so this is kind of small and and um, thin. What I would recommend, so the eyes actually don't look so bad when I zoom in like this. So this is actually doable. This though, what I would do is I would probably, I'll, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Let's take a circle and we're gonna weld it just to make it a little bit, you know, for it to connect, one. And then, like that. And let's duplicate that circle. I'm gonna make that connection right here as well. Um, and no one's gonna really know. You can't really make it smaller right there. It. These are tiny details that just makes your life a lot easier when you do it this way. So you see how I'm connecting it here. Um, it may feel weird to have this connection right here, but it's the shirt. I mean, no one's really gonna know what shape. I mean, this shape is kind of funky in itself. So I don't think it's going to make a huge difference. Um, if you want to, you can move that down a little bit more or you can make this a little bit better. Unlock it and let's see, let's make it a little bit slimmer and then we'll move it up. Let's rotate it a little bit. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better. I might even make it thicker right here and right here, but all you need to do is I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna move this. I don't like this. Let's use this one. And then move it down here and make it look kind of flatter right there. And again, you can either duplicate this and make that, you know, just thicker. It just depends on how much of the detail you want. All right, so I'm grabbing that and I'm gonna weld it. And that just ensures that this piece stays intact and it's easy to, to, uh, to deal with. Okay, all right, so we've got the eyes, the white is good. Let's look at this. So these are the, the other part of his eyes. Um, they're kind of far apart. I would slice them. So, you know, again, just grab your square and slice like that. Grab the two and hit slice. Took a second. All right, so that's all done. Let's see, what else do we have left? We have the suit. Okay, let's look at, and then, okay. So the shoes are, are different. Um, and I would, you know, slice that off so that it's its own piece. Oh, and the button. You know, this is a great place to add like um, black glitter cardstock or, um, black cardstock that has, you know, um, like texture to it. So it has Swiss dots or something like that. So that it's all still black, but it's a different thing. And I think it looks really, really good. 
Um, okay, <laughs> let's grab that square and slice this out so that we can, you know, jam it all together and cut it more easily. Let's see, let's grab these two items and slice. It's taking a lot of slice, so hopefully this video is not delayed. All right, these two, let's grab this slice. And I would just leave the shoes together because they're pretty close together. So that looks good to me. Okay, so we need to get rid of this, right? And then also our slice results. We don't need that or that. So we'll grab these two items and delete. But now this black is all separated. Now, if depending on you know your supply or how much extra you want to be, you could just make this the same color as the suit. It's not a big deal. You have a black background. Um, you know you could make this glitter cardstock, this regular. It's totally up to you. Now this suit is in multiple pieces, right? But I can't. I won't be able to slice it because. You know, when we were talking about slicing, we need to isolate that one piece that we're removing and that it's so close, it's gonna be difficult for me to fit in a square or fit in a circle that completely covers the pants, but only the pants, right? So in this case, when you're stuck with something like this, however many pieces that you wanna split this up into. <clears throat> so I would split this arm, one, two, three, four, five. So this is five pieces. I'm gonna use contour. When I'm using contour to do this, however many pieces I wanna separate it into, I need that many copies. So I need five of these, okay? So I'm gonna duplicate. Here's two, three, four, and five. All right, so each one of these, we're gonna go and click on contour. And we're basically removing the other four pieces from it. So on this one, let's hide all and see what it leaves us. Okay, it leaves us this jacket part, which is great, but we want this little pocket, so you wanna select on that so that the slit is there. And then, voila, there's our jacket, right? And it's 7.7 .7 by 6.1, so it's perfect. It will cut, it will be seamless. Boss Baby is going to be seamless. He's gonna look amazing. The only thing that's gonna have seams is going to be the black background. So with everything sitting on top of it, you're gonna have minimal seams that people will actually notice. And because all the pieces on top are seamless, you know, your eyes are drawn to the face, it looks amazing, the color is gonna be great, you know, you pick the right color cardstock, the suit, the details, the extraness of the shoes and the buttons, all of that will distract from any minimal seams so it's gonna look amazing at 30 or 27 inches. <laughs> all right, now let's go back to this piece and click on contour. And again, let's click hide all. And it's always gonna default to this piece, right? So what we want is, let's say we want this piece, we also want this little cutout. We don't want this piece because we already have it. So now we've isolated out the arm. So here's our arm. So you can see how easy it is to use contour. I didn't use contour for, for years of owning the Cricut because I just didn't understand it. But it's a really, really um, res like great tool. All right, let's go to contour on this one. Let's click hide all. Let's do the pants. The pants look like it's got a lot. It's one piece, oops, sorry, what happened there? Okay, um, I don't want this piece. I want this little slit that will give it, you know, the detail that makes it look amazing. So here's my pants. My pants, 7.6 by five inches. So I'm kind of piecing it back together over here so you can see the suit. All right, so we've got three pieces, we've got two pieces left. Let's go to contour, um, hide all. This time I want this piece, I don't want this piece. So here's my little jacket. Something like that. All right, now we're on our last piece, contour. And let's hide all. We've got this piece, we don't want this one. 
We want this, this, and this. Now this is up to you. This is a lot of pieces. I, if I were to do it, I would stick that circle here and here and here and turn this from four pieces into one, okay? I won't do that because we've already done it. So I'm gonna leave that there. All right, so we're done with that. Let me zoom out for a second. So we have the, the skin to do and then just the black background. All right, so I'm gonna move the black background over here because we'll be doing that later. Let's do this. Let's go to contour and we gotta bring everything back. Remember that I hid everything so that I can measure the face, right? So let's click show all, everything will come back. And let's look at this. Okay, so let's slice apart the arm or the hand and, oh yeah, the two hands. So let's bring in our square. And then I wanna show you a trick with the face. So I wanna make sure this hand is completely in the square and nothing else. And that looks good. So let's grab these two items and slice. Look at this little hand, it's two inches. <laughs> All right, let's do the other hand. So you can see I'm using the same square and I know this is okay because no brown is coming through here or out here. So I know this hand is completely covered in this square. So I'm gonna grab it like this and slice. And now I just have this cute little face left now the face, remember, this is gonna cut fine on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but I have a tip for you. So you see how there's slits right here and then through the eyes. I mean, granted we have this gold portion and this white, but in these spaces, you will still be able to see the black behind it, right? It will still sit like this. So if we had any seams coming through, we can uh, camouflage it, we can hide it. So what you wanna do is you want to duplicate this face, and then go to contour and we're gonna hide all and we're gonna turn this into the same black as this one because now if we had any seams right here we're gonna put this down over the face and hide the seams so that when we put this on top it will have the face, it will have no seams, right? Because it was just the face being cut. So that's how you're gonna make sure that your face is flawless. All right, so we've got those two pieces down. All we have left is this guy. So let me um, delete this. Wait, did I get rid of the slice results? I don't think I did. Okay, there we go. Let's delete that. Okay, Um. so he is, He's 12 inches, I didn't notice that earlier. So darn, if we had made him smaller, okay, so I think I would have made him, let's duplicate this for a second. I was so focused on making him as tall as possible. See, if I got this down to 11 and a half, we wouldn't have to slice him in half, we would only have to slice him this way. He could have been three, you know, three sheets of paper. Instead, now he's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, I probably would have done. Let me see. So if I made his, I mean, it's up to you. So see, I should have done that. I wasn't paying attention. I should have made this eleven and a half inches. He would have been a little bit under twenty six inches, but he would have. It would have been so easy. He would have only been in three pieces. Um, it's too late to do that now because all these pieces have been sized to 27 inches. Does that make sense? So you could easily do this from the start, but I'm not gonna redo my video. So, which is okay because you know, I'm gonna show you, we're building a grid, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's bring in a square because right now we can't cut him on the Cricut, right? He's too big. So 
the squares are going to be 11 inches by 11 because I always use 12 by 12 cardstock and um, I don't like dealing with half inches. So, and in this case, it doesn't matter anyway. So what you want to do is you want to put him, put the square down and go to your position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So the first one is two. We're already good with two. 2.7 becomes three. And what we're telling design space is the X coordinate is the one running across. So go over two units, go down three units, and here's the beginning of our square. So we're gonna duplicate that square, and you're gonna put it really close to the first one. We want to build flush squares so that everything butts up against each other when we put him back together. So on this one, we're gonna also go again to the position feature, 13.3 becomes 13. 3.028 becomes three. So now we have a set of flush squares and I can show you the math behind it. So this one starts at two, right? Our paper's 11 inches, two plus 11 is 13 and there's 13. So now what you wanna do is you wanna hit the shift key and grab both of these squares because they're flushed with each other. You can duplicate it and then we'll make this set flushed with the original set. So you're gonna put it down here really close and then round. 1.9 becomes two, 14.3 becomes 14. Duplicate that set again. And when we bring him back up, we may not have, like the legs could probably will be one square. So we don't have to keep it, but this helps us build our flush squares so that we can see what we're doing and then we can make choices afterwards. 1.9 becomes two, 25.1 becomes 25. All right, now scroll down and go get our black background and bring it to the front. Arrange, send to the front. So as I was saying, we, you know, here you just wanna make sure that your cuts are good. Um, that nothing, no small cuts. Like for instance, you wouldn't want the, the ear and the head to be sliced off where you have a super thin piece right? You, we want big pieces here. Um, so I would probably do something like this. And then let's look at these squares. This is why I like building on round numbers because I can always bring back that square if it doesn't work. So this works well, right? I have a feeling that only the head is big. So oops, hold on. Do you see this ear? It's really close. I'm going to move it up a little bit. I want to make sure, okay, yeah, I didn't want that ear to be sliced off. Okay, let's move this one out. I have a feeling this will work. Oh, perfect. So only the head is going to be split in half. So now you see how it's a little bit off, but it's easy to put it back into order because, let me move him to the back, arrange, send to the back. Because everything was on whole numbers, right? So like this one, I'm gonna go back and move this to seven and 14. And then this one is seven and a half and 25. I, so that should work fine. Okay, so let's bring him back. Send to the front. Okay, so we can slice him like this and he should look good. So let's grab this slice and then slice we're just making our way around the image and slicing him out okay and this should do it all right so let's pull the pieces out let me delete these extra squares that we don't need and I'm gonna keep this in order so that you can see what he looks like. We're rebuilding him over here. This piece is six and a half by 11. Awesome, because we can cut that on our Cricut, right? Here's the other face. And look, so let's bring this to the front. Let's see where this seam would go through. Maybe it wouldn't even go through anything. So it would have gone through his eyes. This top part would have shown. So 
you know, that that seam, we have this black piece already, it's going to be in there, it's going to cover up that seam, oh, just like this, so see, no seam. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring this down, this is 10 inches by 11, it's perfect, and then this little guy right here. So there's boss baby. All right, let's delete this. Let's go to the make it screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay, one of your images is larger than 11 and a half inches. Not a big deal, just click okay. All right, so here's the white. Um, remember how because we've separated the eyes, you can, you know, oh look, it fits in here. You could do that. <clears throat> you could even do something like this. See, and then this, if you use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, look at all the usable space for next time. It's a lot easier to use it when it's, you know, nice big chunks than small little pieces that you're trying to fit everything on. All right, here is <clears throat> the fancy Whatever you're gonna do with it, you can move this over. So this is just, you know, two inches by five inches. You can use scrap paper or not. Um, okay, here is our guy. I don't know why it's, oh, because the face. Okay, so this face, what we wanna do is we wanna tilt it a little bit. Okay. You see how it goes all the way to the 12 inch line? So. If you only have a 12 by 12 mat, this is what I would do. I would line the paper up right to the 12 by 12, which normally we would anyway. Um, the system's gonna cut it thinking we have a 12 by 24 mat. Don't worry, don't worry that it, you don't have a 12 by 24 mat. But if you don't have it, then this piece needs to go to another mat, right? So you click on the three dots, move object, and we're going to move it to a new black it's a pretty big piece okay so design space is acting up right now I can see you know that's kind of funky all right here's our second piece here's the other black piece so all good so far here is the face again so right here I mean this will cut you can you know shift it like this the little hands can go up here like this this one can fit in here. So this will fit on, oh no, wait. Hold on, maybe something like this. So this will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, 12 by 12 mat. Okay, don't worry that it says 12 by 24, it, it will cut. All right, here's the hair. The hair is just such a big piece, but there's nothing we could do about it. Here are the eyes. The eyes, you could do something like this. You know, you wouldn't have been able to do it if we didn't slice it apart, right? But because we sliced it apart, we can really stack it and make it, you know, tiny and use a small piece of scrap paper. Here is the suit. Let's see if we can combine. Oh, we can. I think this can fit in that. So let's click on this. Click on the three dots, move object. We're going to move it to the previous map. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to make it fit. I don't know if it, it will or not, but I'm going to do it. Let's move this up more. Let's move this over on its side. Yeah, this is gonna fit. And then we'll move this up here. So instead of, you know, two sheets of paper, we were able to do it on one. And I almost feel like this could be a little bit better. Because if you use glitter cardstock, next time you have, you know, almost three inches by seven inches of scrap paper. Um, I mean, we could probably do better and get this to fit better. I don't know. Maybe this will fit up here. Almost. Let me see. I mean, you can really play around. It depends on how much paper you want to save. Um, oh yeah, that will fit. And then we could put this up here. So let's tilt this a little bit. Oops. All 
Oh, you know what? Yeah, and then maybe this piece can go in here. So now you have way more usable space for next time. Oh, this one you need to tilt. You just wanna make sure though, as you're doing this, you double check your work and make sure that everything fits because if anything overlaps, it will cut and you'll have two ruined pieces and then you need to recut it anyway and then all that, all that paper that you thought you were saving, you didn't save. <laughs> so you could do something like this. So you have really, you know, good cardstock for next time. Let's look. And then the last piece is this guy. That's it. All right. I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think. I also want to let you know I'm coming up with a guest series. So occasionally I will have someone pop on and do a video, something that they're good at that I'm not. So specifically resin, epoxy stuff because I'm scared out of my mind to do those things. So things like that. I'm going to ask other people to pop on the channel and, um, and do a video. Um, so if you want me to reach out to anyone let me know if you want to see me do because some things i will do if you tell me even if i've never done it i will research it and i will try to make it and give you my tips based on the research that i've done and then there are some things that i i don't want to try <laughs> because i'm so scared of my skin reaction to resin so things like that i mean let me know what you want to see and if i can't do it i will reach out to someone i've already lined up some amazing instagram um, accounts like Ivy Pink Made, Ms. Crafty AF, and um, so, you know, I'm all about making our community better. So, I, you know, I'm totally good with promoting other people. If you want to guest, uh, do a guest appearance on my channel, please reach out. All right. I will see you guys next time.